Hey guys, we're going to take a quick second here and make a short video on the three most common mistakes that most people use uh, when they first get their wild edge steps and they're trying to put them on a tree and they're trying to figure it out by themselves. So let's try to help circumvent and shorten the learning curve for you a little bit. Three most common mistakes. Common mistake number one, not having the rope underneath the standoff as you're going around the tree. Here's the proper way to do it. Notice the, the rope is on the outside of the standoff here, okay? And what, what you'll see As I cam the step over, this rope is below the standoff, the rope is below the standoff. Standoffs are on top of the ropes. That's because I started with it on the outside. What we see a lot of times when people are talking about, hey, it's wanting to pop up, I can't get it to cam over solidly. Here's what they're doing. They're, they're taking this rope and they're going on that side of it. They reach around the tree, grab it like this. They make their loop, they lift it up, they figure out they've got to shorten, shorten the, or, or loosen the loop because it's not camming really well. And look, I still can't get it to pop in. Notice the first time it popped so easy, it cams so easily in place. Now, I'm really struggling. Now, you could kind of say, oh, it's cammed into place, but look, one finger. I mean, the reason why, this rope is on the upside, the top of the step. You always want that, that rope to be on the outside of the step like I first showed it. I don't know if I've got enough slack, slack in my rope to do this, but now that I've got the rope on this side, you can hear the difference because the rope is underneath the standoff. That's mistake number one that a lot of people make, okay? Mistake number two is in forming a proper loop. Let me show you what I mean by that. So again, we're going to ensure that the rope is on the outside of the standoff. What a lot of people want to do is get over here and pull this really super tight. They want to wrap all the way around and underneath that loop right here, this rope. So notice how this loop is going to go all the way around that rope and then they just come back through it. Will that work? Absolutely. I actually, when I first got my steps, I hunted with them several times that way. You can do just fine with it that way. Notice it cammed over in place. It's not going anywhere. The difference is being able to adjust it. If I, if I deem myself that that loop is not tight enough, if I, don't, if I don't have enough slack in the rope or if I've got too much and I want to adjust it, I have no adjustment left now, not one-handed at least, not without taking it and physically touching it with this finger, and it's really hard to adjust because I've got the loop around itself. Again, here's the proper way to do it. This will allow one-handed adjustment make putting your steps on it so much easier. Just a second ago, we went around the whole thing, right? Okay, here's the way to do it. Give yourself a little slack, go between the rope and the step, now come back through that loop. Now your loop is on the inside of that rope, not around the rope. And now I can one-handed adjust that thing all the time I want, okay? If I, if I want to tighten it, I just pull a little bit, it tightens. If I want to loosen it, I push on it, and it loosens. And see, it now it's not camming as hard because I pushed on it. If I want it to cam harder, I pull. But the secret to that one-handed adjustment is going between the rope and the step. That's common mistake number two. Common mistake number three, not getting your standoffs above your rope. Wanting to cam it over and it's not camming. See, it's wanting to pop up. That's because these standoffs are the same level as the rope. Give yourself just a little bit of slack, pull up. Now my standoffs are above the level of this rope now it'll cam over. That's mistake number three. Not getting your standoffs, the point of contact on the tree, make sure they're equidistant, they're both putting the side, a same amount of pressure on the tree, pull them up above the rope, it'll cam right on over. That's the three most common mistakes guys, hope that helps some, and if you've got any questions, shoot us a PM at Wild Edge.